Hi Sugar Snaps, my name is Brittany. If you're new to the channel, welcome in. I'm a basket weaver, natural dyer, and fiber crafts person. Joining me is my sister Bailey. Hi. Can you see the family resemblance? <laughs> <laughs> Cosmetologist, social media manager for Textile Indie, studio buddy, and um, the one who tries to make order out of my tornado chaos in the studio. She's the organized one, not me. Bailey has the lightest hair in our family, so she, um, just kind of got voluntold that we were doing this. I was like, hey, want to do a video with me? No. And I was like, oh, you're doing a video with me. So here we are. She's going to have to give me instructions on how to do her hair. That could be bad. And she's getting a haircut, so it's good timing. When, how many days? Four. So if this goes really bad, she only has to wear it for four days. Okay, let's get started. Okay, got a brush in our bowl. Pieces of foil already cut our clip clipping my hair back. We're going to take the foil. She's going to take about an inch piece. She's only letting me do an inch. An inch. She's going to put that in there, cup it in so the dye doesn't pour out because it's pretty watery. She's going to brush it on and then close the hair into the foil. Make it tight and let it sit and move on to the next piece. Uh, before she starts, she's going to pin my hair up at a V, so she only does the pieces I want her to do. <laughs> and so when it falls down, it'll be at the correct spot so it comes out underneath as a shadow box. My side of this project is that I am taking cochineal, which is a beetle, so this isn't a vegan dye, and making the dye substance that then we're going to apply to Bailey's hair. So I have the cochineal beetles that we're going to use, print paste or guar gum that we're going to use to thicken the dye. I'll be crushing the cochineal with my mortar and pestle to make it into a powder because they are larger pieces. And aluminum sulfate which we'll use to kind of mordant or set the dye in her hair. She's putting a beetle in my hair. <laughs> She's freaking out Bailey. Slightly, maybe more than slightly. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I talked her into this. <laughs> Let's get set up and make this dye. Woo! So I've started heating the cochineal or did heat the cochineal in some water. I did about a uh, half a cup of water with two tablespoons of cochineal beetles. Drain this with my little sieve, isn't it so cute? Into a jar because even though I had it in this nice little sack, it came through. See, tornado. This is me on an average day making a mess. Don't mind me. See, that's the color we're going for. <laughs> Strain out this stuff. And I'm not getting rid of this because this stuff, because I can use it to dye with again. I'm just going to take out the dye that is in there so far. There's my dye. Now I'm going to take my print paste. You know, it might be worth smearing the actual bug on. I might make some of that into it. And Bailey's face goes, here's haphazard me. I'm not measuring this out. I'm just going to add some and see if I can get this. Oh yeah, that was too much. Oops. So I'm just going to add some more dye. Are we going for molasses consistency? She said, yeah. I'm gonna clean up, we'll get Bailey set up, and then try applying this to her hair. Before I forget, here's Bailey's hair before. Ha <laughs> ha. So first things first, protect Bailey's white shirt. Oh, up. Like this. Yeah. Okay. V up. Last thing I want to do is to give her a lopsided dye job. <laughs> Probably happen. Wow, the vote of confidence. Okay, sectioning out a piece of hair. Okay, and then I brush this on. Oh boy! Make sure you get it all like move the brush 
get it all around my hair. How are you feeling? Feeling <laughs> <I'm> good. <laughs> okay, and then sides, and then bottom, and then side, or how do you? Uh, it doesn't matter sides, bottom, or bottom, and side. I just want it closed. Compact. Okay. Packet number one. A million more to go. <laughs> I wouldn't be a very good hair stylist. Is it? This is fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm -hmm. We're having a grand old time. Grand old time. <laughs> Well, we washed it out and Bailey's hair is still up so you can see it. It's pretty faint, which I think we kind of expected, right? I think it definitely works better in your hair than it would have in my hair because it's still fairly faint, yes. even on your blonde hair. Mm -hmm. And you can see some pinks, but I should have mixed it in more. So one thing that I failed to do was add the aluminum sulfate early in the process. So I added it afterwards and then reapplied the dye to her hair and I think that probably if I'd done that right away that probably would have helped and I forgot to add lemon juice. Anyway it was a fun experiment and I think for the expectation it turned out pretty well. How was it for you? It was pretty great. Just sitting there wasn't so bad? <laughs> it took forever but it was great. <laughs> it did take like two hours yeah. of sitting there. We did a test wash of one bundle after an hour uh -huh. and it hadn't really taken and so we uh, left it in for another hour fun stuff thanks for watching see you in my next video bye <laughs> okay <laughs> oh this is bailey she has the attention span of a two-year-old <laughs> just kidding I'm also I... a slop, so it makes no sense yeah back to the intro what were we talking about oh so bailey how was the experience <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Exhilarating. Oh, good. <laughs>